Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have been having a ton of fun with Monster Jam Steel Titans. Honestly, guys, this game, like, I did not expect it to be one of my favorite games, but <laughs> I'm just having a ton of fun so far. Like, how can you not enjoy doing stuff like this? So for today's video, I decided to change it up. We are now in the Monster Mutt, the Rottweiler version, actually. Came with the pre-order bonus. And we're just here in, like, our compound area. And I was trying to go up this path because there's actually a collectible up there. But you can't go up that way. It makes you go flying. So today, guys, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be hopping in and kicking off episode number one of our career mode. So the last video I did on this game was kind of just completing the university and that kind of thing just to get that stuff out of the way. Now, I am determined. How do you get up there and find that collectible? Maybe I can go up this way? Nope. Yep, I have no idea how to get up there. Oh, there's stuff way in the distance that way too. I feel like I don't have that area unlocked yet. But if we come in to the menu here, go to career mode, we have the outdoor racing that we're gonna kick off here today. If you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. Throw any comments down below, subscribe if you are new, and let's get in to Monster Jam Steel Titans. So I feel like here is where my limitation comes into play. I don't have this area up here unlocked, and I am assuming that is why I'm getting kicked out of, I mean, this area over here going for that collectible. I would assume that's why. So yeah, up here is considered out of bounds, but we come up here, can definitely get up there somehow. There's a collectible up there. We have to be able to make it up there in some way, shape, or form. But guys, let's waste no more time. Let's come in and kick off our outdoor racing series. Now, I think I am gonna be Monster Mutt just to kind of change it up. We've been Gravedigger a few times. So yeah, let's be Monster Mutt. There are actually a few versions of them, but we only have the Rottweiler one. So we're gonna rock this version of this car and we're good to go, okay. So this is gonna be the outdoor racing series. And the one thing that people have been saying is that it is fairly easy to win. So this one is Carrot Tail. It is a rhythm track and we're gonna try and dominate. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably just see how this episode goes, play through the entire outdoor series. And then each episode might be its own little series. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, if it doesn't take too long, that's going to be the plan. But if, uh, if there are like tons and tons of races for each little segment of the career mode, then uh, we're going to have to split things up and maybe do like two episodes per Per, uh, per per championship? Is that what they're called? I, I'm not sure. Like right now we're doing the outdoor racing part of the career mode. Like right now we are doing the outdoor racing part of the career mode and if- Oh, that was it? That's the whole race? But if this segment takes too long, if this little series within the career mode takes too long, we might have to split it up to two videos. But if that's how this whole thing's gonna be, um... I think it might be pretty easy. For getting first in that race, our suspension on the Monster Mutt actually got upgraded to level 2. So I can't complain about that, man. Free upgrades, let's go. Now the next track we're going to be going to is Western Banded. And it actually looks like, if you look in the, the bottom right of the screen there, it looks like we're actually just doing like one more straightaway than what we did in the last race. So pretty basic once again. I think it's really cool that you can come in and upgrade your car kind of like mid-championship. It gives you the option before you load in to the next race so we should be good to go if you guys haven't already go down link in the description check out the ones company guys the dad hats people have been asking about them they are coming very very soon i just got to figure out shipping and everything to be able to do everything on my own and then we're going to be we're probably going to be cutting the teespring site and just doing everything kind of custom everything on my own getting stuff embroidered and all that and uh that is the plan so yeah once company linked in the description if you guys are interested in buying anything from 7mx james stewart's gear company make sure to use code goonzig7 at checkout to get yourselves 10 percent off i know it's not much but it is something, and uh, I love giving back to the Goon Army, so... Yeah, man, Goonzig7, 10% off 7. Follow me on Instagram, at Goonzig Productions. If you just type in Goonzig, 
it should come up and I think that is pretty much all of the promo now I used to do the promo and all that at like the very start of the video just to get it out of the way but I think it makes the intros too long intros end up being like a minute minute and a half two minutes so I figured if I can transition that change it up a little bit and do the promo while we're actually playing the game it might make it just I mean, a little more enjoyable I know I'm sitting there editing intros half the time and I'm like, holy man, I talked for three hours before even getting into the video. I don't know man, some people say I talk too much in my videos, but it's just me. If you don't like it, don't watch. I think uh, I think that's one thing, like you gotta be you in your videos and I'm a talker. I love to talk, like if people are listening, man, I love to talk. So it's just me, I'm always a talker. And uh, you, you won't catch me. You won't catch me sitting here being silent. So. <laughs> so, so far, we have actually been doing the same track, just going a little bit further each time. I believe, I think, right? Yeah, we're on the same track as the last two races. So I wonder if there is a way to check how many events we actually have to do in this little series. I'm going to do this race in first person i want to change it up a little bit i don't always want to be in third person and uh if i can bring you guys some different gameplay throughout the episodes for sure i'm gonna do that i definitely have some crazy ideas i want to do as well within this game so if you guys have any ideas you want me to do let me know in the comments below i really do think I really do think we're gonna get wild with this game and I'm gonna have a ton of fun with it so I'm not sure if this here is the finish line or not hey it is try and bust out a little front flip there oh we landed it too let's go so now if you guys look at that map we're doing gold dust day and it is almost the whole entire track so if I can take any guesses here I'm gonna say the next race is gonna be the full loop. Actually, you know what? The way they might do it, it might only be one lap and then another race we might do more than one lap, but we'll have to see the rhythm, man. I feel like, I really do feel like you almost have to choke up a little bit if you wanna be perfect. Coming into this section, I think like right here, here is it the is this the jump I over jump? Yeah, see I over jump this every time. And I almost need to send it and try and triple it or choke up and just I mean take that line for what it is. So okay, we are a few sections into this race and I just want to kind of give like an overview so far. Um the AI have not been the littlest bit of competition and like I've said a few times in all my videos on this game so far the difficulty seems to be based on your progression. So this is the first series within the career mode. So it's probably, oh, a triple right there. See, man, we're gonna get some gnarly lines eventually, but I think it definitely is based off of your progression. So this being the first championship, it is going to be fairly simple and straightforward and we're not gonna be struggling to win. We actually ended up unlocking a chassis upgrade. Oh man, and now, the Monster Mutt Rottweiler is as upgraded as we can get it. We're heading on to Coyote Arches in this track. This track, I've played it a couple times, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not the track, I have explored the area on the map. And I do think it's kind of crazy that the whole entire map is like your free roam world. Like, you have the whole world at your fingertips. And then the races and everything kind of go throughout the world. I think it's really cool. So we got, I think it's the Gravedigger truck up there in the lead. Monster Mutt, the regular version, trying to battle with me, man. Oh, I thought I was going to flip right there. I think these races are a little more fun than the rhythm racing races just because you have to figure out the track. And it's not like a very, very straightforward track. You can kind of go, like you're free to go wherever you want as long as you hit these checkpoints so i really do think you can get creative with it and have some fun and hit some crazy lines probably um maybe hit some jumps and stuff if you're if you're up for it like wabam just like that man that's actually awesome that you can do stuff like this and then uh, come over here to this uh, checkpoint here now i have done this track a few times because this jump man this jump, I think everyone's hit it so far. Everyone I've seen, everyone that I've seen play this game 
there is a clip of them hitting that jump. <laughs> and now we are on our way to the finish line. Oh, we're sending it. Are we gonna land it? Oh, that was perfect. Oh my goodness. Gecko Flats is the next event, guys. This one, I don't think I've ever played this track. I'm starting to see a little bit of like overlap from the university to some of these events and stuff. Like we're kind of in the same area, but I'm not too concerned about that because we're early on in the game, so they don't want to show us everything that the game has to offer right away. I think the tracks and everything are probably going to get a lot crazier and a lot more advanced as we kind of progress through the game. And I don't know, it actually is kind of nice to have a game set up like this where like you don't get to choose the difficulty and it's kind of just based off of your progression. Because like right now I would be against like the all-time AI probably trying to beat the hardest AI struggling and it wouldn't be fun but since it's kind of based off of your progression I seem to be having a ton of fun like we're winning every race with ease but I'm still having fun with it I think I'd rather win than be getting dominated right now <laughs> wait hold up is this the same track but backwards oh no I don't think it is actually oh those are rocks oh my goodness I thought I was going down. We have to send it up through here. This is the gate that is closed in the free roam area. So we're not actually able to come up into this area. So does that mean we're going to unlock this area after this race? That's a huge jump right there. Oh man, I wish I hit that. If I wasn't in a race right now, you guys know I would have sent that jump off to the right. But this is definitely... Is this my first time in this area? No, we've been on this track before. But in kind of like a free roam state of mind, yeah, this has been my first time over here, even though we're in a race. Oh, I've totally done, I tried to go in that plane before, and it did not work. Got some jumps over here. Oh, what did I hit? What did I hit, man? Oh, it stuck on my roof. I think we just got to reset. I hit one of those tires, and they just sent me flying. So this looks like a pretty crazy area to actually explore, like a lot of jumps and stuff. Like, I feel like I should be hitting some of these jumps. Should I hit this jump? Oh, no. <laughs> that did not work at all. <laughs> these guys are all gonna pass me. <laughs> oh, man, we finished in third. I guess that just shows I probably shouldn't have tried to hit that jump, to be honest. <laughs> but with that being said, we are still on top of the championship. We got 34 points. Monster Mutt is chilling in second with 23 points. My one complaint so far with how the career mode works is it doesn't actually mention how many tracks are left within this career mode. So there could be like 50 outdoor races left and I would have no idea. Considering the tracks are getting longer and longer though, I am going to say that we are getting closer to the end of this series. but. Like I said, I have no clue how many races are in each series. One thing I also really want to do in this game, and I think I'm going to have to wait until I actually unlock the whole entire, like, free roam area. I want to go ahead and explore the whole entire map, because apparently there are a ton of easter eggs within the map. So I'm assuming that, like, there are going to be random things throughout the whole entire map that are just kind of, like, little jokes and stuff like that. Fun things to look at, fun things to check out and uh, maybe some crazy jumps and stuff like that. I think uh, I think the whole entire like free roam exploration portion of the game is just a crazy aspect. I think that takes games to the next level. I just always think about like Forza, Forza Horizon and stuff like that. I am a huge fan of the Horizon games because you can actually like free roam and explore. The Forza Motorsports games, you can't do that and I'm not a huge fan. I feel like the free roam aspect just brings so much fun to the game. But with that being said, we have 40 points. We are in the lead and Crestview Rally is up next. Now, a few people mentioned in my first video that I uploaded that monster trucks do not do anything like this in, <laughs> in real life. They don't race on tracks like this. I just think it's a very cool aspect to the game. I feel like if they didn't do stuff like this, the game probably wouldn't be what it is. Now with that being said, I would love to have an event already where I've just like went in and destroyed stuff. Like we haven't really seen that side of monster trucks yet. We've done a little bit during the Monster Jam 101 and the Monster Jam University and stuff like that, but nothing too like 
too crazy or too serious. I know, of course, we are working our way up to be like the best of the best and become like a steel titan and all that, but I really do think it would be cool if there were like, I don't know, maybe some smaller destruction events where there's just cars and trucks and everything and you just get to demolish them. I think that would be a ton of fun. Not even on like the stadium scene. What if it was like a fair, a fair vibe, like a fall fair vibe, you know? Got a monster truck out there because they do that sometimes. That'd be cool. That'd, that'd be so cool. Maybe that's going to be some DLC, like fall fair DLC. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys have fall fairs where you're from, but a lot of the fall fairs around here usually have like a demolition derby. And sometimes... I think I've seen it once where a monster truck came out. So what if they actually did that? So we're back on this track and I wanna see if I can rhythm through this section. So I need to choke up here. Oh, I still went too far. I wonder if it's like once your truck is fully upgraded, you can like absolutely send it through these sections. Now we got two laps on this track. So it is gonna be a longer race. And guys, I think my biggest tip so far for this game is to stay on the power. Oh, Case in the triple there. But I've noticed that the truck really likes to lose its RPMs. So you need to keep your you need to keep the gas on. You need to keep your RPMs up. And especially in like the corners and stuff like that, you definitely need to try and like sweep wide and keep your momentum up. Now, holy, I'm just bouncing through this section. So that is one lap in the bag and we got one more to go. Let's see if now, can I triple here? Let's just hold the gas on. We're going 85, 92, 90. Oh, the triple, not gonna happen. Power through the corner. Just hold the gas on, keep your speed up and that way you keep your momentum rolling. Now, I wanna make it through these next two sections clean. I totally messed up, especially on the last lap there. I was like bouncing everywhere. Oh, are we gonna mess up again? I think the next section here is the one that I absolutely struggled with last lap. So hopefully we can make it through clean this time. We're just going to double and then hopefully double up over. Oh man, we should have almost like tripled somewhere now we're just bouncing there we go getting back into the double double rhythm can i triple here no it doesn't happen and then it's weird you like can't keep your rpms up hang on you know what is this a gameplay setting airborne throttle auto disable change this to user input and i'm gonna have to see how that works because when we were taking off from every jump it was cutting the throttle and our rpms were just dropping so if we're able to actually like keep on the gas i know our truck's gonna want to flip but if we're able to keep on the gas are we gonna keep our rpms up and then in the long run it's gonna be easier titans grove this is the next circuit here and guys i i don't know how many races we have left so this race i don't know how man i don't know how it happens but we got out to this early lead and we are just like <laughs> we are just gone so i think we have to do three laps on this track which isn't that bad the track's pretty fun but it probably is going to take a little bit of time now changing that setting the throttle setting there has definitely made a little bit of a difference. We're not losing our RPMs. As soon as we take off of a jump, the throttle isn't being cut. So that is definitely a setting I would keep in mind, guys. It's actually kind of cool, too, that the game, it keeps track of your longest jump as well as your highest jump and your best lap. So it's not like every other game where it's just like, oh, here's your best lap. It actually gives you a little bit more uh, like information. It tells you, hey, I've jumped 296 feet. That's my longest jump. 23.2 feet is my highest jump. So that's actually pretty cool that they go ahead and uh, showcase that information because I don't know, it's the little things, man. The little things like that that take these games to the next level just because as a gamer, as like a racing gamer, it's like, oh yeah, lap time, like that is kind of expected to be there. But distance and height, that is just something that's like super cool to actually see and, and a cool and it's actually a cool feature to me like i i noticed that stuff that stuff goes a long way in my opinion so guys we have completed the outdoor racing series now with that being said i'm not sure how i'm gonna do these videos in the future this one it was probably a little longer 
I think I might have to chop each series in half and kind of do like two videos for each series. We have unlocked the Arena Trials series. We actually unlocked El Toro Loco Black, the Black Edition, which is pretty cool. And we got a 10,000 credit bonus award, which is awesome. We ranked up and we also unlocked the Gecko Flats airfield area. So progress, man. I have no complaints. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that thumbs up button for me. Like I said, it was probably a longer video, but I'm probably going to change it up for the future career mode episode. So I hope you enjoyed. That is it. Monster Jam Steel Titans. Peace out, guys. Oh, actually, wait, look at this. Are we getting a cutscene? Oh, no, it's just kind of showing us that that area is open. Okay.